Hey guys, I'm here and today we are doing something a little bit different. Hopefully this is going to be quite a fun thing to do. But I have a random Pokemon description uh, generator up. And I'm going to try and draw a few of the descriptions. Now I'm going to give a, myself a five minute timeline for each drawing. And just so you know, I'm rubbish at doing digital drawing. So this might end up being quite fun and uh, quite silly. So yeah, come on. Right, so our first one is a dragon poison type Fakemon. So this is the website Fakemon uh, that is based on a vampire squid. It is a huge creature with a howling cry that is made up of multiple parts for, or bodies. It has a scaly underbelly and its primary colour is white. It lives in the forest and it has its uh, ability there. And move sets. Let's start the timer. So it is a vampire squid. Yep, yeah, that's going right. So vampire squid. So I'm going to draw like a, a Minecraft squid. So my really bad drawing. This is on MS Paint, by the way. Yeah, that totally looks like a, a Minecraft squid. Do the tentacles. So it's a dragon poison type. So we're gonna give it some wings, I think. Let's just finish these tentacles. Yep, yeah, perfect. Uh, we're gonna give it some wings. So so this is the dragon part of it. I'm just gonna do that and like I don't really know what I'm doing. But you guys should know that I never. Oh, whoops! I never know what I'm doing. That's wing number one. He's got one pointed wing and one not pointed wing. Right, I'm just going to do this a little bit. So we've got three minutes left. So I'm gonna add. Let's just zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna add some dripping wing bits. So like that. Like that. So this we're getting in the poison bit of the dry uh, this I'm gonna call them faker ones. Now I got this idea from watching Drawfee, you know, I've been a fan of Drawfee for quite a while and I really like their ideas on actually doing these uh, videos. It is a vampire squid so we're gonna have to let's do the eyes a minute it's, it's, it's very shocked I'm gonna give it a cat mouth because why not and we're gonna just put in the fangs it's a huge creature with a howling cry oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little mouth music notes oh god it has a scaly underbelly so let's do like an underbelly here these are scales by the way guys Made up of multiple parts. We got the multiple parts, but so we got the wings, we got the main body, and we got the tentacles. Thirty seconds left. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to color this. Uh, the underbelly and its primary color is white, which is seems easy to do. I'm just gonna do the wings as green because it's poison. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. So that is that first drawing done. It looks beautiful, I love it. We could, we're gonna call him Ted. Why not? There we go, we got Ted, the uh, the vampire squid. If you guys want to uh, try naming these Pokemon down in the description, then do so. Because I, I would be really interested in finding out what you guys think these should be called. Because I think that would be really cool to actually get these named so if you want to name these pokemon down in the description then please do so okay and next one is a ghost normal type fake one which is based off on sushi <laughs> uh, it's normal sized creature with a mechanical cry that is insectoid i don't really know what that means with a short neck and a long mane and its primary colour is black. It lives in the sea and you've got its abilities and stuff there. So, right, I'm going to move Ted. Five minutes on the clock. Let's change to black again. So we're basing it off of sushi. 
So let's start the timer. And it's going. Right, we're gonna do a little sushi. Oh, I did quite well with Ruby now. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> it's a ghost type. So I'm gonna do like a little wispy tail. So there we go, a wispy tail. Just get rid of this bottom bit. How do you do a fish mouth? I don't. Because this is a ghost type, so sushi is. <laughs> it's, a it's a dead fish. So. Um, I'm gonna do pucker up. Uh, it has a long mane, so we got to put a mane on it. Uh, do we uh, do we do a lion mane or horse mane? I'm thinking horse mane, so I'm just gonna do this. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is, and its primary color is black, so we got a color in black. So I'm gonna do this bit black. It's got the outlines, and it's gonna be annoying. Uh, and we've got, and I'm gonna do like a, a dark grey, and you could be a lighter grey. Uh, it's a normal type, so does that mean we gotta put arms on it? We gotta put arms on it. Yeah! Uh, um, I'm gonna do this bit of white just to get the colour contrast. There we go. So the arms symbolise that it's a normal type, and this bit represents the ghost type. Uh, I'm gonna do like a little spectral circle going around him. See like those orbs. There we go. Yeah. Ah, ah, damn it. So we got our two lovely drawings right here. I mean, they look beautiful. Just get rid of that. Uh, we got Ted. Which isn't its Pokemon name, it's just the nickname that you give your Pokemon. And I'm gonna call you... First like a seahorse. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call you... This is my amazing drawing. Bruce. So we got Ted and Bruce. So... <laughs> they look beautiful, I love them. Ted is looking gorgeous right there. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave it there guys. I do have another uh, random generator that I want to try out so I might do another video. If you like this video then please like and subscribe as of course. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Try to